absolutely hate to see that kind of devastation. We've seen it so much this winter yeah. into early spring out west in California and the north. It's if it's not one thing, it's another. The Seriously. snow piling up, the severe weather in the south. When you look at it all, we've been fairly so, so well, lucky. I say fairly lucky. We've yeah. been extremely yes, lucky yes. around here. And that trend's going to continue. Let me show you. We had the rain today. We had some thunderstorms out there as well. You may have heard that. It wasn't anything major, but that system now moving out. Look at all the colors there around Boston. That's where they're just getting pounded with some rain. And then north of that, the white and the blue is the snow. So there's still snow out there, despite the fact that it's almost April, just not here. You can see that the clouds have cleared out a little bit in our area. That trend will continue for at least a couple of hours before the clouds fill back in. So a few things for you to know tonight. The rain is for the most part gone. Just a few lingering showers. We're going to be drying out the rest of this night and tomorrow. It's going to be in the 50s, but we're chasing the 60s and 70s this week. And there is another late week storm. And there's actually a storm in the middle. It's a non-impact storm. I'm going to show it to you here in just a second. But for tonight, here's what we're looking at. Philadelphia right around 43. We'll say down the shore 46. Lehigh Valley maybe mid and upper 30s with some increasing clouds, if not mostly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow around the region, quick snapshot at 5 o'clock. It's going to be about where we should be for this time of year, maybe a little bit below normal. We're going to go mid and low 50s for your high temperatures. Clouds in the morning, clearing in the afternoon, but pretty much a non impact day. So let's focus on the seven day here because there's a few things I want to talk about. First of all, there's your day tomorrow 54, mostly cloudy, early skies clear. Wednesday and Thursday, both days are dry, but it's interesting. Wednesday night late, we're going to get a weak system that moves through here. So here's 11 p.m. Wednesday night, not tomorrow, but 48 hours from now. And we're going to track this system that rolls on through. So while we're sleeping, one o'clock in the morning, little rain passing on by. But look, this thing's gone by like four or five o'clock in the morning. So I don't even have it on the seven day forecast because it comes through between basically 11 p.m. and 4 a.m. That's Wednesday night to Thursday. So we're just going to count. We're going to count that out in terms of the seven day forecast. But Friday into Saturday, that is our next weather maker that will actually have some impact for you. So we're dry Friday morning, dry through noon. We get into the afternoon. We start seeing a few showers here and there on Friday afternoon. I don't think it's going to be a big impact if you have Friday evening plans. In fact, we may have a period that we dry out but it's Saturday that we're going to have that impact. So here's Saturday morning. If you had any outdoor plans, winds are going to kick up from the south. Consider it raining a good portion of the day for you on Saturday. And notice the green just kind of sticks around, and this goes into Saturday evening before it tapers off. But despite the clouds and despite the rain, the temperature on Saturday, 71 degrees. It is a warm front, so it'll feel mild. Then we're going to cool things down. We're drier on Sunday and cooler, 54. Guys, over to you.